One of the Queen's maids of honor who carried her coronation train died the night before Her Majesty's state funeral. Lady Mary Russell, daughter of the Earl and Countess of Haddington, was just 19 when the Queen chose her to be one of her train bearers who carried her six-yard robe of state. She was one of the monarch's six maids of honor at her coronation at Westminster Abbey in June 1953. Her death, at age 88, was announced in the obituary section of the Times. It read, Lady Mary died peacefully at home with her family around her on Sunday 18th of September. The loved wife of David, much-loved mother of Arabella, Anthony, Philip, Jason, and Marina, and dearly loved by her 12 grandchildren. Most read in news wet and wild severe 60 miles per hour winds to batter Brits amid torrential rain and flood warning wife Peter Harry and Meghan bodyguard is ex-met cop who choked his wife unconscious predator bigger woman left man she forced into sex with love bite like strangle mark missed a sitter Keir Starmer can't name a single England striker and very cringe interview previously speaking about the Queen's coronation, Lady Mary Russell said, it was overwhelming and moving, especially during the anointing. It was an incredible moment, but all I could think about was how heavy the embroidery felt. Of all the girls our age in the country, we six girls were chosen to carry the Queen's train and that meant a great deal. She died the night before the Queen's state funeral which was watched by 28 million doting royal fans across the globe. Lady Russell is the second of the six maids of honor to pass away. Lady Moira Campbell died aged 90 in November 2020 in Belfast. She went on to serve as a lady-in-waiting to Princess Alexandra from 1954 to 1964, and to the Queen from 1964 to 1966. Read more on the Sun Magic Wand People are only just realizing they've been using Bubble Wands wrong hats type Kate Middleton swears by a £6 product to stop her shoes from slipping speaking about the day in an interview in 2012, she told Newsletter that she would never forget the age-old ceremony and the utter dedication of the Queen making those very solemn promises. She had to stand for three hours on the day of the coronation but said it just passed like clockwork because it was so deeply interesting.